Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, shout out to you for joining us. And if you are returning, shout out to you for coming back. Today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me video. So if you're interested in hearing a little about my two month update now in Philly, but also seeing how I created this look, keep on watching. All right, guys, so we're going to jump right in. This video is legit going to be balls to the walls because I legit didn't think of like any major talking points. I guess for this video, I'm legit just going to talk through it. Um, I am going to do my makeup in a process. I'm not going to really do like a tutorial per se, but all the products that I use for this video will be listed down below. We're going to get started. I really can't believe that it's been two months already since I've been here. And I'm so happy with my decision to move. My hands are freezing. I'm so happy with my decision to move. Um, like it's still like a very surreal moment to me um for me i still like have some moments i'm like holy shit like i really did it um but you know two months has really gone by very quickly um my apartment is coming along it's not as fast as i would like it to be and that's something that i really have to keep in mind mason and that's something that I really have to keep in mind. Um, but, you know, it is going to be a process of me getting things in order the way that I really want them to be in order. But like I said, like things are really coming um, together. It's just like it's a very slow process. Like my bedroom is coming together. It's slow, but it's coming together. I feel like the only room that's really like still kind of in disarray is like the living room. Um, mainly because finding a couch has been like the bane of my existence. It's been very hard. Um, at least finding a couch that I like and one that's going to fit in the space. I go back and forth pretty often about the size of my space. I really think that it's big enough that I can fit like a decent sized couch there. But I also don't want to find something that I really fall in love with and it's entirely too big and it just doesn't work for the space. So it's taken me a little longer than I really would like to find a couch. But I feel like once I find one that I like, it's definitely going to be worth it. So, um, like I said, my room is coming along. It's very slow, but it is coming along. Like, my TVs are finally mounted, so I'm really happy about that. Um, my bed is, like, perfection. Mattress is, like, sleeping on a cloud. Um, I still need, like, um, nightstands, lamps. Um, like, I still need a dresser, for crying out loud. So, like, it's coming together slowly, but I'm also being, like, very indecisive because I have ideas as to how I want my furniture and, and my rooms to look. It's just a matter of really finding what I like without breaking the bank. So, that's the part I feel like people don't tell you. Everybody's like, oh, my God, moving God is amazing. And, la, 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 la. and it really is. But, baby, furniture is expensive. Like... <sighs> furniture is really expensive like i knew i was gonna have to spend some coin but i mean jesus like phew. um but what else like this room is probably like one of the more done rooms i can say in the house um mainly because i could not function with like dealing with like my sneakers in the boxes but also wearing the same couple pairs of sneakers was killing me <laughs> like it was really stressing me but you know this room is done but also for like my work sake my recording and things like that i really needed to get this room up and running or like together there's still like some things that i need to get in order but the room is mostly in order that i can sit down i can do my makeup i can record and stuff like that and i can function and be okay um but yeah so like I still need to get like um like storage for like the closet itself um especially because like I'm still digging out of like plastic bags for a lot of my beauty items um there are some items that I use of course more often than others and I really just sorry set those to the side so that I could easily access them but other than that it's like I still have things that are like in bags and I'm just like I really want to get them out and put away so that I'm able to, like I said, access them and just get to my stuff a little bit better. But yeah, so like I still need storage for like my closet because like I said, I'm still digging out of like bags and stuff. 
for beauty items and it's like i still need a couple of like little milk crate baskets for the actual cubbies that i have with some product in it but other than that everything is starting to look good or at least um come together so that i'm able to like function and work like i said how i would like to work and function in my space so i'm really happy about those things i think yeah the bathroom is probably the most done room in here and like the kitchen um like my bathroom i have everything that i really need i do need i want to see if i can get like some little like like a um i think like a bathroom tree i think it would be called where i could put like additional towels um and some like of my products because i do have more products than i have storage space in that bathroom so that's something i need to be mindful of as well but other than that it's like things are coming together slowly but surely so i'm really happy and i'm very excited about that um what else like i'm quite sure we have a lot of things to like touch up on but also make sure y'all watch the q a portion of this video it's probably going to be the it will be the first video that will go live before this and i'll probably link it up here somewhere so you guys can watch it as well but make sure you tune into that where i know like people had a bunch of questions for me as to why i moved um you know all of that kind of stuff and i really wanted to make sure that i took the time out to answer that so make sure y'all tune into that video as well um but yeah like other than that i'm just like very happy um i love being in my own space like i love company and i love friends and i love hanging out with people and all of that kind of stuff but i also really value like my own space my own company and solitude like i could really be in a space all day and just listen to music all day and be okay i don't need to speak i'm you know okay with that and it's like um being here like in my own space it's like i'm able to do that I do things on my time when I want to do them, um, um, you know, how I want to do them. If I don't feel like, I'm very bad at this, but it's like, I'll use dishes. I don't mind washing dishes in the morning. Like, that never bothers me. But it's like, if I set a bowl in the sink at night, I don't have to worry about, like, me needing to wash it or having to hear somebody, my mom. <laughs> Um, say like you know I clean the sink get at it and I'm like I'll just wash it in the morning like when I feed um Chloe and Mason and stuff like that like I don't mind washing the dishes in the morning or like even like when I just feel like doing something like I function very much on my own time and being in my own space really allows me to do that and I don't have to worry about you know somebody else and like if I'm being too loud or you know that kind of thing and I'm not really a noisy person um but yeah it's like little things like that that I'm just very grateful for um so yeah like i'm just very happy to be in my own space and um you know aside from that being able to host friends the way that i would like to host friends and like um little things like that like you know i'm grown i'm at the big age of 30 um so it's just like you know sometimes i be wanting friends to come over and it's like i don't want to have to worry about you know watching what i say or curbing what i say um if i do have friends and stuff like that or you know once i get a couch i'll definitely be hosting like game nights and little things like that and it'll just you know be easier and just a lot more fun to now be in my space and be able to invite people over and stuff like that so I'm really excited about that like I'm, I'm so excited about all the possibilities and things that i will be able to do in my own space um like it's just i don't think you guys really understand like but also i feel like i haven't given myself enough credit in my move like i'm telling y'all about like all the things that i'm excited about and what i'm looking forward to but I also will say that I feel like I have not given myself enough credit with this move. Um, and I say that because I've been wanting to move for years at this point. And I'll definitely touch on these points. I've touched on these points, I will say. Because um, I'm actually recording these videos out of order. But um, I, you know, have been wanting to move for years at this point. And it's like now I finally got the balls to do it. 
And it's just really weird how timing and all of that stuff works. And I really honestly have been saying like time is a weird construct I will never understand. Um, but how timing works and things like that. And I honestly feel like I'm just about to call this chapter of my life in God's timing because when I tell y'all God has been working, he has been working and it's just things that I've been wanting to happen a lot sooner and it just was not the appropriate time. And now that things are coming to fruition, I'm like, oh shit, like y'all catch what I'm saying, right? So I have been wanting to move, you know, for years at this point and I really just finally got the balls to do it. And initially i i was like all right for this year i turned 30 um you know i'm gonna move out and originally like uh before i even started like really like planning and really getting into the planning process i said i would give myself to the end of the year and um it's not a bad timeline but initially, that's what I felt very comfortable with. And I was like, oh, I'm going to give myself to the end of the year. This way, I didn't have to rush. And I also did not want to... I did not want to be heartbroken if I was not able to move before then. I felt like the end of the year, it was safe. And I'm definitely going to talk about that. Um, and it was just very safe. And it was just very... Um, you know, like a safety net. Oh, if I don't, if I, I was like, you know what? I want, I want to move by the end of the year. If I move before, then great. But the end of the year is really like the goal, so that I could feel safe in that. Then the year came in, and another one of my friends had moved at the be very beginning of the year, and we were talking about it. And she was also doing like a lot of um, freelance work. She's also like a personal trainer and stuff like that. And we were talking about it and she was like girl like you know just sit down and really just hammer it out and write it out for yourself like I want to move by this time and what was holding me up is fear like as a freelancer it's it's a very scary thing and it's like the fact that we could also possibly be going into another lockdown is is I'm very fearful of it um so Um, just like the thought of it is like spooking me out right now. But um yeah, I'm gonna take like my beauty blender and just you know go over that. But um she was like, yo, just hammer it out for yourself. Like, what do you want to see? When do you want to see these things happen? And just really you know, write down your goals and really just go after them. And she really like started the like put the the, the flashlight, not the flashlight, the light bulb. And I was like, all right, like, I could really do this. Like, if I really just, like, really get my shit together, buckle down, I could dead ass move. Because I already had a nice a nice chunk of change saved up. All right, we have Chloe in here now. I had, like, a nice chunk of change and all of that saved up already. And um, it was really just a matter of, like, all right, like, if I really, like, hold it down, I could dead do this. Like, I could really do this. And I was like, all right, I'm going to give myself till the end of the summer. So now the goal has moved up. We went from the end of the year to the end of the summer. And um, I was really like going in with like my searches and stuff like that. Where did I want to live? Looking at apartments and everything. Um, just doing like a ton of research, but also asking my friend who is from here and, you know, getting his opinion on areas and all of that and input and things like that. And... He was like, yo, like, you could do, like, you could do this, like, you know, just buckle down, stop panicking. I'm like queen of panic. I may not show it, but on the inside, I'd be like, oh my God. Um, but same thing. And he was like, yo, you could do this. Like, you could really do this. Like, just, just relax. You could, you got this. Um, and then I was like, all right, I'm definitely going to give myself till the end of the summer and I'm out of here. And then, like, I had a conversation with a really good friend of mine, really close friend, um, and a mentor. And they're probably, like, two people that I trust, like, whew, endlessly, like, with whatever. And they both had asked me, like, you know, do you have money saved up? And I'm like, yeah, 
And they're like, all right, if you don't mind me asking, how much money do you have saved up? And when I told them, they were like, time out. You have how much money saved up and you still home? And I was like, yeah, like, I got a nice little piece of change. They were like, yo, you could dead move tomorrow. They were like, people move with like less than that, you know, and, and be okay and whatever. They're like, yo, like, you can dead move tomorrow with the amount of money that you have saved up. Why are you torturing yourself? And this was, this was April? This was like April. And then I decided like, yo, I'm just going to apply and see what happens. Like, and legit things happen so quick. I really was not prepared for them to happen. But it was like, I had all my ducks in a row, my paperwork, my taxes, my this, my that, um, the money that I needed. Like I had everything ready to go. I just did not believe in myself enough that I was prepared. Um, and then when I got approved, I was like, oh, like, it's, it's that happening. Like, I did it. But like I said, like, I've never fully given myself the credit. Like, I really did this. And then the time frame changed so many different times. And I'm like, girl, you move before you, your goal. My goal that I had settled on was the end of summer. I moved in the middle, the beginning to the middle of May. Some ain't even really get in yet and I'm out like I did it. So it's like I really just did not give myself the credit or like believe in myself that I was going to be able to do it. But a bitch did it. Um, so, yes, yeah, like like I said, some days I still wake up and I'm, I'm I feel I still feel like it felt like a very surreal moment for me. It's like, oh, my God, like I really did this. Like I really said this was my goal. And I did it before my goal. So I really was not giving myself credit for it, but I'm, I'm like super proud of myself. So, and it's just like the way that things have been happening over the last few months, especially like my dad passing in like October and then like, um, a lot of the moves that I had been making behind the scenes, like all of that stuff was just happening. And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm doing it. I did it. Like it's lit. So I'm very proud of myself. Like I said, I really don't give myself credit, but this is my moment to say, you know, not only am I proud of myself, but also for anyone out there, like anyone that has some kind of goal, whatever it is, doesn't matter if it's big or small, always make sure that you're giving yourself your props, um, you know, for doing whatever it is. Life is hard and it's like, we really got to give ourselves our kudos along the way and, you know, give ourselves those pats on the back and those flowers. Everyone else might not do it. And that's something that I've definitely experienced. Um, so you really just got to got to really just, you know, applaud yourself. I never do things for the applause of others. But I really just do not be believing in myself enough that I'm capable or that I'm worthy of, you know, the things that I do or, you know, in that sense of it. So, yeah, but I'm very proud of myself. Like, this is a big move. It's me by myself, my two babies. Um, so proud of myself. Um, but what I also will say is that, like, with that, I've gotten, like, a lot of love from friends, a lot of love from family. But what did annoy me initially with like family's responses, some of them were like, oh, well, what does your mom think? And I'm like, uh, she doesn't want me to go. And they're like, okay, so? And I'm like, bro. My mother has like mixed feelings. It's like, of course she's happy for me that I'm doing something that I said that I wanted to do and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm the baby and it's like, you know, she's, hello, ma'am. Ma'am, come. Why are you screaming? Um, you know she she didn't want me to go, but she's like, you know, I know this is something that you've wanted to do, and you know now is your time to do it. So she deals with it. It is what it is. But people were asking like, oh, what does your mom think? And I'm like, why does that matter? Like, not to say that I'm not, you know. I didn't think about it and I'm like oh my mom's gonna be there by herself but at the same time it's like 
home is is always going to be home like i can go home at any point not saying that i will but it's like home is always going to be there so but yeah like i did it i'm so excited um but even with that like people were asking oh like what does your mom think and then there were a couple of people that i just I thought I wanted to tell, but then once I told them, their responses were just like yuck and it made me feel like, it made me wish I did not tell them. But you know, people that I was supposed to be friends with. Like I told one person and they were like, congrats on and upward, onward and upward. And I was like, I was like, yeah, like, you know, I can't believe it happened this fast. Um, you know, I'm really excited. She's gonna keep screaming cause she's being nosy. Like her hearing is very selective. So it's really be hearing what she wants to hear. But, um, Chloe. But yeah, she was like, oh, onward and upward. I was, oh, I was saying like, yeah, I can't believe that it happened as fast, yada, yada, yada. And she legit just did not respond after that. And I was like, wow 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 and it's like this has been somebody that you know i thought i was friends with and that um would have been excited for me because it's not like she didn't know that i was working towards her and that it was on my list but it kind of just made me feel like you know she didn't think i was going to be able to do it or i wasn't going to do it as fast as i said i was going to do it so it really just like it just really put things into perspective with like you know the people that we deal with or like who we think is in our corner so those are all things that of course like going forward i had to be it's not i want to say i had to be mindful of but it's just that people really start showing their true colors and stuff like that when you start achieving goals and you know little things like that so it was just very like probably one of the most off-putting situations i've had to deal with with this entire process and I'm just glad that it's not, I, I wasn't getting constants of that. Like, it, that legit was like one person out of however many that I told. Like, everyone else was just like super supportive, super excited for me. So that's all that you could really ask for. But that situation was just weird, like big weird. Oh, so I've definitely been outside. Um, and I really have to laugh because the girls be in my DMs like, oh, we want to know what the men do like. And I mean, the men are the men. The men are the men. Like, um, what do I, I'm trying to figure out like the best way to say this, but like the men are still the men. It is what it is. Um, I am with me being fairly new still. Um, like one of my really close friends he's he's from here so we will go out and stuff like that we'll go eat have drinks whatever go to like a little lounge and be chilling and somebody's always hitting him like yo who's your friend like who's your friend who's your friend who's your friend and it's like that's cool and all but nobody ever approaches me they just sit and they look at me and i'm just like all right he did the he did the intro for me like now you got to carry it the rest of the way and it just don't be given. Like, they just be looking at me and that's it. Um, but, I mean, some of them just, like, very interesting characters. Like, um, very different from New York. And the way they talk kills me. So I, the accents be heavy as hell. But, um, but I mean, like, I'm still the new girl. Still the new girl. So, we still have, like, some ways to go in terms of, like, seeing what the men's are like out here like i be seeing some things that i like i ain't gonna lie but we'll see um so i'm also trying to like get in the habit of eating at like more local spots um mainly because i don't want to rely on stuff and places that i know especially because i've heard that philly has like a, a lot of really good um sorry i'm doing brows y'all so y'all know how i get 
has like a lot of good restaurants and places to eat um things like that so i don't want to start like solely rely on like what i know so like they have ocean prime out here y'all know i love me an ocean prime so yeah like y'all know i love me an ocean prime and they have like roof cruise like they have a bunch of you know regular spots um that i'm used to at home but like i said i'm also trying to get out of the habit of just eating at you know familiar spots because like i said philly has like a lot of good restaurants and things like that so i'm trying to get better with that um but yeah i'll be out like um one of our friends is coming to visit again chloe sorry y'all she's being super nosy um but like one of our friends is coming to visit again and we have like a couple of spots that we're gonna hit up um we'll probably also go out as well again um but yeah like i'm trying to think like i should have had like talking points but this was like very on the fly chloe 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 But yeah, this is just very like on the fly so i didn't have like any talking points i just knew that i was gonna get on here and talk to y'all about what it's like after being here for two months like i'm still stuck at the fact that two months has really just gone by like this craziness absolute craziness i don't know why she keeps sitting there screaming like that mason's in the closet sleeping so there's nobody bothering her but um but yeah like philly has like a lot of good spots so i'll be out um we have like a couple places on our radar to hit up uh when my friend comes to visit but yeah so like i'm just i'm just really at peace like i'm just very happy to be in my own space and to you know be able to move how i want to move and function how i want to function and i don't have to um you know worry about anyone else um in that kind of aspect like noise or like if i want to be left alone i'm also a very moody person like i'm naturally moody so um me being able to be in a space and you know i don't have to worry about how my attitude will be perceived or you know little things like that i'm just very happy about yo fresh brows really make all the difference like oh like look at these brows just beautiful um oh i will say for this video this is like my current makeup routine um current makeup routine um a lot of products that i've been using consistently some are new that i've been throwing in and little things like that but pretty much like my go-to face for the time being so um but yeah look, look at these brows they look so good um but yes um very happy about the move the food the men's are interesting um what else Oh, also, like, I did not know that I was going to know as many people here as I do. And I love that for me. Um, like, I said, one of my really good friends is here. Munch, he's here. Um, I knew he was here, though, so that's... But, like, other people that um, I've known from at home or, like, you know, from school, I've met through, like, different things are also here. So, like, that's, like, really good to know. So... I'm like, I'm pretty adventurous, but sometimes I really just don't be wanting to do stuff by myself, especially like in a new city. I'm like, damn, like I really wish I had somebody to go out with and thank God I do like, cause there are some spots at home. I will just show up by myself and be okay. But I'm like, I don't know if that's going to be the vibe that I'm trying to do, you know, while I'm here. So, or especially because I just got here, you know, um, we got a little bit of blush. And then we could probably spray this down. But yeah, so like I'm thankful for that. 
and then it's like also while being out i've met um some cool people as well so that always that always helps think what else oh but yeah like this year i'm just thankful um especially after the hell that last year was um hold on y'all mm -hmm. look at that i should probably spray this like off to the side But yeah, like after the hell that last year was essentially like having so many good moments happen this year, um, something's business related, which I'll, I might discuss like at a later date, but you know, I'm going to keep those things to myself. Um, the move, um, what else? Um, a couple partnerships and things like that, that I have like coming up or some that have happened just like so many good things in terms of like getting away from what last year was and like i've talked about it a few times like on social media here and there like i did not have the relationship that i would have loved to have with my father but um i know that he's like very proud of like the things that i'm doing now the moves that i'm making things that are you know coming to fruition that um I've like talked about or wanted to see come to fruition I know that he's very happy on the other side um looking at me basically making shit shake so um you know that helps me like a little bit at night I'm trying not to get emotional so I don't start crying but um but yeah so it's like after the hell essentially that was last year it's it's just very nice to have like so many good things happen but like I said, I think I'm really just going to name this chapter of my life in God's timing. Because when I tell you some of the stuff that has unfolded, currently is unfolding and will unfold, it's just wild. It's very wild to think about. All right, guys. So we're all finished up. We are good to go. Hair is done. Jewelry is on. Change my top as well. But that's pretty much it for this chit chat. Get ready with me video. I know this video is long, but I really hope that you all enjoy it. Like I said, I'm really happy about, you know, finally getting the balls to actually just get up and move. Um, like I said, it's something that's been on my radar for years and to now officially do it and be here is it's such a surreal feeling, but it feels so, 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 so good yeah thank you guys for tuning in if you have any questions about my move if i did not cover in this video or any other topics that you want me to talk about um please make sure that you drop them below in the comments i love hearing you guys thoughts and opinions and like i said any other questions let me know if i don't get to them here maybe i can answer them in a follow-up video for you all but that's pretty much it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video